All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 261 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, Ibo Way. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the oh. Back to the feet. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, high level stuff there as he blocks the strike and counters with a jab. 
Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that extreme. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Kick. Man, he just gets better with every fight. Another kick to the leg landed there by McGregor. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Good night if that landed. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow him. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, nice right hand. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. That punch is good. Beautiful body kick. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Look at the turtles in that kick. Single follow tie. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying at I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch lands through the middle. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Big kick lands. It's a good right hand right there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Back and forth we go here. Tags him with the left. Unable to connect with the right hand there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. A oh, little single collar tie there. Boy, Ty Plump. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by McGregor. Final seconds of round one. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that may be a loss on the casual foot. Absolutely, and it's going to be the underhook. From all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out 
but it does excite me for the next round. Oh, effective strike there by McGregor. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Connor. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Connor. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, the box class, hands up, chin down. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. McGregor gets caught by that frustrating punch. Nice job by the offense there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by McGregor. Nice. Big leg kick lands. Oh, it lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Three minutes to go. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has pulled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. She lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded. Oh! oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Oh, no! Oh, straight right! Oh, man, how many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscience? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's going to be sleeping. Effective punch there by Connor. Just misses there with the left. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this part. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch land. Ooh. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice right hand, John. Just a slip there. Five single hollow time out. Huge knee land. Again, they clinch. Kick checked by McGregor. Nice head kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Liver kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. 
All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high ball. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Oh, nice. Nice. Just look at the good action that comes from him for the next hit. Big head kick land. All right, he engages in a single hollow tie here. Three minutes to go. That's a big strike right here. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. by this young man. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done! He's done! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO return. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.